Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, my name is Nasu. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I normally don't have my hair down, uh, as you can see, but I just came out of the shower, so hopefully it's uh, not too bad. But um, in this video, I wanted to tell, uh, sort of talk to you guys about the three mistakes that um, you should try and avoid uh, whenever you go for a physiotherapy interview. Cool. So the first one is make sure you know that physiotherapy is not just about sport, as this is one of the biggest misconceptions um, that I've seen and I've heard about in my experience. You know, it's a it's a very very big um, sort of thing amongst the public that um, or opinion amongst the public that you know physios are just these people that um, you know run on the pitch of a, f a football pitch and um, with a sponge and like a bucket of water, but it's actually a lot more to it than that. Hopefully, if you've done your research, um, you should know that there are, there are different areas of physio. Um, in an interview, um, uh, you may get sort of asked about the different areas. Um, and generally, you don't want to come across as a person who uh, is just, you know, uh, single-minded. And even if you do want to go for into a sports setting, um, make sure that you uh, sort of um, let the interviewers know that you're aware of um, what the whole sort of profession entails, not just sport. So, yeah. Second mistake I think you guys should avoid is um, not uh, researching enough about the university you're applying for. Um, so up and down the country, wherever that is, you're going to get asked, why do you want to attend this university? And uh, your response is very, very important. So um, what is it about the university that attracted it to you? Uh, attracted uh yeah the university to you is it the location the um student union um is it the program structure um what do you know about the program structure so you probably be, will be expected to know a little bit about um how the teaching um is done at the university the more informed you are the more sort of um uh you know professional you may come across and um it just shows that you're keen to actually go there and uh, thus increasing your chances of actually getting an offer. So um, I would definitely uh, research the university you're applying to and uh, yeah, the program especially. Another tip I sort of have is um, whenever you actually go for an interview, try and search in Google, for example, um, physiotherapy interview at um, X university. And um, normally there's some chat rooms, for example, student rooms, um, which have, uh, you know, experiences of uh, sort of other students um, uh, of what happens in the interview. And normally that helps me to prepare a little bit more because I know what to expect. So um, that's something you guys should do as well, I think, which would um, yeah, help you a lot. And the last mistake I think you guys should try and avoid is um, not selling yourself enough. And what do I mean by this? Well, um, try and read um, sort of the person specification of a physiotherapist. And then, um, you know, when you get asked in an interview, um, why do you think or what, do, what qualities do you possess that would make you um, a good physiotherapist or physio student? Um, and this is where you have a chance to sort of show off and, um, you know, sell yourself, as I said, um, sell your skills, your experiences, um, and try and relate it uh, back to um, how a physiotherapist would, uh, you know, um, use those skills to um, improve their practice or make their practice really good. Cool. So that was uh, my video on the top three mistakes you should try and avoid um, whenever you go for an interview on a physiotherapy degree. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like, comment or subscribe and that would be cool. That would be amazing. All right, so if you have any questions, as always, just hit me up on social media and I'd love to help. So take care, guys.